Hello everybody and welcome to another Tecla Power Fab video. My name is Dan Lopez and I'm the Application Specialist. Uh, today's video is to give you a heads up of some new functionalities that we made available in the 2021 version service pack number 2 of Tecla APM. Uh, in this version, now you will be able to limit the visualization of assemblies and parts available to be completed in a station based on the previous station status. Uh, this with the end goal of warning you if you are misupdating any of the stations through the way and with the purpose of getting better information output from Tecla IPM. For example, real quick, if I go here to uh, my world station and let's say I, I want to add some uh, pieces completed, you can see how only seven pieces are showing up in my screen as pending to be completed for the world station. If I check this box, I will find out that there are some other um, assemblies that have to be completed on this station, but they haven't been completed in the last station yet, so they were hiding on the background. Uh, this is a simple setting that you can activate only for the desired routes and stations. So let me just go ahead and show you that real quick. I'll close these screens for a minute and go to the station and route settings under maintenance production control. Let me just go ahead and open this screen. Uh, this new tool, it's right here at the bottom, is this little box that says complete previous station first. It's, it can be used for part or assembly routes. It doesn't uh, make a difference. As long as you have more than one station, then you can activate that box, right? So in this case, the Katsaw station is my first station in this route, so that's why that's unavailable to be applied. But as soon as I jump into layout, fit up, or all the other stations. I have the option to only apply that to certain stations. So uh, it's on to, up to you. We heard from clients, they wanted to have an option where they could easily identify if someone was missing the piece tracking information input into the software. So this is an easy way for you to, to identify that and make sure that you have the right numbers and the right information every single time. Um, let me just go back here to production control to show you one more time. If I open this job, and go to the piece tracking screen. When I go to update some pieces in any of my stations, it will only show the assemblies that are still pending to be done in that station and were completed in the station behind. If I activate the box, then it will show me anything that the station behind myself is missing yet. Uh, in the same way, it applies in EPM Go. For those of you updating this through EPM Go tablets, let me show you that screen real quick. And here we go. So in APM Go in your tablet, when you go to production tracking, uh, you have you know the summary of the stations, just like in the desktop version. And then when you, if you are a welder, for example, doing record by record, as soon as you finish uh, the weld process of every assembly, you may be using the one by one at a time. So if you click Add, the drop-down menu will only show those assemblies that are missing on the welding station and were completed in the station before, right? But as soon as I check this box, the list will actually reload and then it will show me even the ones that were not completed in the station before uh, the welding one. So if you are the foreman and you are doing a batch insert instead of one by one, when you go to the add batch screen, again, the, the first screen will only show you the assemblies that you have to complete here that and that were completed before. And if you check this box, it will also show you the ones that were missing the latest station uh, before this one. Uh, I hope you will find this very helpful. It's a request that several clients were doing, and now it is available in the 2021 version service pack number two. As always, thank you for watching.